Hello! This is the last behind the scenes video for Glatorian Battle. I'll go over how I did the visual effects, color grading, and sound. At the end of the video, I'll have a side by side comparison of the raw video and the final result. In the filming of this video, I used these clips to help stabilize bionicles or have objects fly through the air. They were useful, but need to be removed afterwards. Doing this is pretty simple. First, you need to make sure you have an image of the background with nothing in it. In this shot, for example, I would take two pictures for each frame, one with the thornax ball being held up by a clip, and one with just the bionicle. Sometimes, like in this shot, you can just get away with using a frame from earlier on. Next, you take your animation and cut out the clip frame by frame. When you overlay this on top of the empty background image, the background will show through as if there were nothing there. For things that were flying fast through the air, I also added some motion blur to sell the fast motion. Here are some other shots where I removed the clips using the same technique. Another common effect I had to do was set extensions. In a lot of shots, it was pretty simple. I just copy and pasted bits of the surrounding image to fill in the frame. Other shots were more complicated. For the first shot of the video, I had to duplicate and mirror large portions of the existing image. In this shot, I used a blue screen so that I could fill in the background with an image I made in photo editing software. I'm not very skilled in photo editing software, so the background doesn't look very realistic on its own, but it's hard to tell since the shot lasts for such a short period of time. I mentioned before how I added some camera movement with a LEGO rig, and also from manually moving my camera on the tripod head, but I only used it for a few shots, so I also added some digital camera movement and camera shake. I just zoomed in a little bit and panned across the frame to follow the action. I also added some random movement to simulate camera shake, like in this shot. Color grading is the process of messing around with the colors and contrast of an image to make it look better. Here you can see the original images I took, and after I applied a color grade. There were several steps I took to achieve the final look of this video. First, I noticed that Vastus was too dark, so I created a filter that brightened up only the dark green parts of the image. Next, I added some contrast. When I exposed and lit the set, I wanted to make sure that nothing would be too bright or too dark so that I wouldn't lose any details, but that made the original image look washed out, so adding this contrast back is essential to making the image look less flat. Doing this, however, made the colors too saturated, so I desaturated the image a little bit. Next, I shifted the colors towards yellow, which takes out a lot of blue in the image. This makes it look more like the Bionicles were in a desert, and also makes the color of the rock wall look better. Lastly, I added sharpness, which makes the edges in the image more visible. Without this step, the image looks soft and blurry. All of these steps add together to make a better final image. I mentioned previously that many of these shots were filmed months apart with the set being taken down and reconstructed, so some clips ended up having different exposures. To fix this, I applied a slightly different grade to different sections of the video to match the brightness and contrast across the whole video. I also added another filter when Akar picked up the Thornax ball. I used blue tack to keep the ball attached to his hand, so to make the blue color less noticeable, I shifted it to gray to match the color of Akar's hand. I used a similar filter when I brightened up only the dark green parts of the image earlier. For this video, I recorded most of the sound effects myself. To make the sword sound effects, I just got pieces of metal from the garage and banged them together in a bunch of different ways. I made sand sound effects by moving bionicles in sand. and I made some swooshes by swinging a plastic sword in front of the microphone. I made the loading sound for the Thornax launcher for my brother's airsoft pistol. 
I also got some sound effects off the internet from websites like FindSounds.com or SoundSnap.com. These included the gunshot sound effects and the punching sound effects. To make sound effects seem more realistic, it is always a good idea to layer multiple sound effects. Let's look at this clip, for example. Instead of having just one sword hit sound effect, I layered six onto each other. There's the main thud sound, the ringing and rattling sound, the high frequency sound, the low frequency sound, the sounds of the sword scraping together after the hit, and lastly, a swooshing sound. Combining these together gives a much more powerful sword hit. Layering sound effects requires a lot of work, but gives great results. For the music, I used the soundtrack from Proximity, which is a short film made by the guys over at Film Riot. When you're finding music for your videos, it is important to make sure that it is not copyrighted, because dealing with copyright violations on YouTube is a really big pain. I was lucky to find the soundtrack to Proximity because they said anyone could use the music in their own non-commercial videos if they bought it from their website, which ended up being about $8. If you're looking for music, I would also recommend YouTube's library of music, which is all free and open for use, or Incompetech.com, which also has a ton of free and open music. Sound is actually one of the most important aspects of a video. Bad sound can make videos hard to watch, but having great sound can make videos exciting and engaging, even if the video quality isn't great. That's everything I have to say about the making of this video. Now I'm going to play the raw, unprocessed video without music alongside the finished video. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.